Hi class, today I want to talk about the cell cycle. We just finished going over DNA, its structure, and how it replicates. And this whole chapter, remember, is about how cells divide into more than one cell. And the life cycle of a cell growing and dividing is called the cell cycle. So we're going to talk about the different parts that it's divided up to. There's a lot of phases and they could be easily confused. So make sure that you have your note packing out and that you go through it. The PowerPoint goes exactly with the notes, okay? So pause it when you need to because I'm going to kind of go quickly through it and rewind if you have to as well. So the cell cycle is a series of events that cells go through in order to grow and divide. And what that means is that like I said, cells, just like a child, would have to grow up into an adult and then eventually they reproduce and make more of themselves. And so the main thing with cells is that we started off as one cell, a zygote, and now we're 100 trillion cells. Where did all those cells come from? Well, they do a cell process called cell division in which they make more. And that's what this process is all about. The reason that we started with DNA is because part of the cell cycle involves making more DNA for each one of these cells. So the cell cycle has two main parts. The first part is called interphase, and that's just kind of the cell doing its normal thing, and we'll de that, detail that in a minute. And then the second part is going to be the next video called M phase, known as division. You probably know it as mitosis, and the different stages that a cell goes through in order to, to equally divide everything, particularly the DNA, and split into two new cells. So when you look at the pictures that I have down here, and on your paper these pictures are there, so make sure you fill them out or something similar to them, is that we have, yours has uh, some sections in here. On the next slide I'm going to show you a more detailed picture of that. But we have, what we have here is we have a cycle, a circle. Most of the time a cell is going to be an interphase, which is this blue section right here. But some of the time, just about 10% of the time, the cell is going to be in this phase called M phase. And this stands for mitotic phase, which means it's going to go through mitosis. So most of the time the cell is doing its normal stuff, making its proteins, but if it gets the directions to divide and make more of itself, it will have to go into the second purple phase over here called M phase. And that takes about 10% of a cell's life. So we're going to go from one cell into two cells. And this is in your packet, so the whole process is we have a cell, it's going to grow, it's going to mature, it's going to get the signal to, that it has to divide to make more, and then it's going to prepare to do, to do that, and then it's actually going to divide, to divide, and each one of those two new cells is going to start the whole cell cycle all over again. And that's really what we're going to be looking at. So let's talk about interphase, and interphase and how it's split up into more than one section. So interphase, a couple things about it. So make sure you get down these three bullet points. Number one, a cell is growing into doing its normal work. Its normal work is to make proteins. That's what cells do, they make proteins. The DNA is gonna be in a form that we called, that we talked about earlier called chromatin. That's when it's all spread out in the nucleus. It's all over the place. There's a picture of it down here on the bottom. So down here, the spaghetti looking stuff, the purple thing's the nucleus, the Yellow stuff is the DNA and it's all spread out and that's when it's able to best send out the directions to the rest of the cell in order for them to make the proteins. And then finally, during the time of interphase, it's going to actually start making more copies of things, making more DNA, getting prepared for division. All this is, com all this is split up into three separate phases. So the first one, everything in blue is interphase here. That's what we're talking about. The first part of interphase is called G1. The second part of interphase is called S, and the third part is called G2. So we have G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase. Those are the three parts, or three phases that make up interphase, the normal life of a cell. There is this thing called G0 that we'll talk about, as, this, as is a checkpoint. So that's interphase as an overview. So let's talk about each one of these three parts. First thing is G1. So these are the three boxes on the bottom of your notes. So in G1, we have a couple things. It stands for first growth. And because it's the first place that a cell starts, always starts off in, G1. And here, the cell is going to get a little bit bigger in size. It's going to make some new organelles because it's a new cell. It's going to start making its proteins and doing what it's supposed to be doing. So that's pretty much the normal stuff that a cell does. If a cell... gets the signal from the DNA usually that it needs to make more copies of itself. 
then it's going to proceed into the next phase. And this was S phase right here. However, the next thing I'm going to talk about is what if the cell doesn't want to divide? There's this green outer loop on the previous page that said G0. So let's talk about G0. If a cell does not divide after it's done growing and making all of its organelles and maturing, it can actually leave the cell cycle. If it's in the cell cycle, it's going to have to divide after it's done growing. But if it leaves the cell cycle, that means it'll just continue to do normal work and not divide. Most cells will actually go here for a long, long time. But if something happens and you need to maybe repair and make some new liver cells, then your liver cells will go out, come back into the cell cycle. So cells start here in G1, they grow, they make more organelles, they mature. If they're fully matured, they will actually leave G1 and leave the cell cycle and go out. GO, or it's called G0, but think of it as going out of the cell cycle. Here it will continue to do its normal work, but not anytime soon is it going to divide, ever. There's some cells that will never divide once they're mature. Um, some nerve cells and muscle cells will never divide, which is why it's really hard to recover from really bad injuries to the nervous system and to the muscular system. That's why I think of people who are paralyzed can't recover from that and start to walk all of a sudden again a lot of times because they damage the cells that will not divide. But most cells will get a signal to come back into the cell cycle back into G1. And there's this thing right here called the checkpoint. Once they come back in and go past this checkpoint into S phase, they are required to finish making an entire cycle and divide. So it's a, this checkpoint is a point of no return. Once you go past it, you have, you're committed to the next phases of interphase. And that is G0. Now, after they pass that checkpoint, they go into what's called S phase, which stands for synthesis. Synthesis really just means that we're going to synthesize or make more DNA. So this part right here, S phase, this is where we're going to copy or replicate our DNA. We just talked about DNA replication and all those enzymes that will rip it apart and add on the new pieces to make a semi-conservative strand of DNA, half old and half new. This takes quite a bit because polymerase and all those enzymes don't want to make mistakes, so it is one of the longer phases of interphase. We talked about chromosomes and double chromosomes, so this is a time where we go from a single copy of DNA to a doubled copy of DNA. And so we're getting a double copy because we're going to get two cells, and you need a copy of DNA for each cell. After that, we have the last part of interphase, which is called G2. It stands for second growth. And this is kind of the last minute checkpoint. Hey, is everything ready to go? Are we ready to divide? All right, let's go. So this is right before we go into M phase, which is a division in the purple section there. The main thing with this is that we need to copy and make sure that we have enough centrioles. Centrioles are a important organelle. They're right here. Those yellow things right there. Here's one set of them, and you have to copy them so you have two sets of them. These are going to help the cell divide. That's their main job, to split the cell equally, to split the DNA equally into two. So that's a big one right there. And they make sure everything's ready to go, good to go, and it's a very quick last minute thing right before we go into the next thing, which is interphase. So that, those are the three parts of interphase. We have G1, growth, normal work, we can leave and go into G0, but whether or not we leave or come back in, once you pass a checkpoint, you're committed to divide, so then you had to copy your DNA, and then you do G2, check to make sure everything's good, you copied your centrioles and other organelles, and there's nothing that's going to inhibit you from dividing or mess it up. And then you will go into M phase, which is for the next video, which is how cells actually do the division part. So. Hopefully that was helpful. Come with questions and hopefully you paused periodically and filled out your notes.